Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure distributed transaction coordinator, also known as DTC in SQL Server Cluster. In this demo, we'll be learning why is it important to configure DTC in SQL Server Cluster and number two, DTC configuration requirement. So let's go ahead and talk about why is it important for SQL Server to have DTC. SQL Server is highly transactional based, so distribu distributed transaction coordinator DTC makes sure that all the transaction that runs on SQL Server gets committed right, and that is important important for uh, SQL Server data integrity. Now, keep in mind there are a few things that I wanted to talk about. First is in SQL Server 2005 cluster environment, it was mandatory to create distributed transaction coordinator, but uh, in SQL Server 2008 and above, it is really not mandatory to create distributed transaction coordinator in cluster environment. Let's say that if you don't have distributed transaction coordinator in um, cluster environment, what it does is it uses the local system if it's on node one it is going to use local distributed transaction coordinator uh, sql server will you take a uh, uh, use of that and uh, if it's on node two distributed transaction coordinator will be used by the sql server from there but um, if you have uh, Windows 2003, I would recommend that go ahead and use distributed transaction coordinator as a role in your SQL Server cluster because uh, C uh, Windows 2003 really behaves differently when it comes to distributed transaction coordinator not being in cluster. So uh, these are some recommendation that I wanted to make sure that you understand. Again, distributed transaction coordinator does not need to be in cluster environment in SQL Server 2008 or above. And uh, up here, the DTC configuration requirements, uh, number one, that we, uh, when we configure any role in SQL Server, it needs to have the name, uh, static IP address, and in uh, when it comes to DTC, then you need to have a disk that is basically required for uh, config configuration of uh, DTC in cluster environment. Now, I don't have in this current environment a uh, disk added to our cluster, current cluster. I have four disks, that is data, uh, log, uh, tempdb, and also the um, quorum. So I don't have a DTC disk, basically. I'm going to go ahead and add that into our clustering environment. So in this, way, in this demo, you will also be learning how to add uh, disk to an existing SQL Server cluster. So in my case right here is node one. Here is my um, SQL Server failover cluster manager, basically Windows failover cluster manager, but we're going to use this cluster primarily for SQL Server. That's why I keep saying SQL Server cluster man, uh, clustering. So let's go ahead and add the disk. I have already made sure that uh, there is a, a shared disk available for us to add in our uh, failover cluster. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that, add disk. And this is the disk five that's available that was just created. We're going to go ahead and select that. And as you can see that this disk is added in our storage area right here. So now we're ready to go ahead and configure uh, our uh, DTC role. So in order to configure DTC role that you you could do a couple things. Number one, you can click on roles and right click on roles and configure role. And also, if you cancel this, you can click on roles and configure roles on the right side in action pan right here. So let's go ahead and use either of that option right here. Click next and select distributed transaction coordinator DTC. Click next. And right here is the name. In my case, it's Tech Brothers MS. DTC and IP address right here if we go back to our checklist right here I have written down this is uh, the name this is going to be the IP address this does need static IP address so in my case it's 192.168.163 so we're gonna go ahead and use that IP address in this configuration click next and now it's going to ask us that what disk we would like to add. So if you expand the disk right here, it'll show you. Um, let me go ahead and expand these. So we know that this is data drive, this is log drive, this is uh, tempdb, and right here 
uh, quorum is already taken disk 5 that was disk 4 so we're gonna go ahead and use this disk 5 right here for our that we just added in our cluster click next and as you can see that uh, it's gonna be storage cluster 5 TBS MS DTC this is going to be the IP address of uh, DTC services so let's go ahead click next and click finish the DTC services are installed but it's bringing the MS DTC online at this moment as you can see that uh, our role that we just configured is running and current owner of this role is TBS node 1 priority is medium you can get some information right here so basically this is how you install MSDTC services or distributed transactional coordinator services in SQL Server cluster again I wanted to repeat that it is not really required uh, for uh, DTC to be in cluster mode in SQL Server 2008 and above but if you're using Windows 2003 uh, I would recommend go ahead and use distributed transaction coordinator in Windows cluster